Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a haul for you today. I did a bit of shopping last week whilst I was on my break um, from Zara and H&M and picked up some good pieces. I'm ready for a bit of a change, a bit of a wardrobe refresh and I think just sometimes injecting a few new pieces in there really can liven up your wardrobe. Before we get started, I know I'll get asked about this blouse. I was sent this by a brand called, I think you pronounce it Cocoranti or Cocoranti, um, and it's a Cheshire based boutique that stocks some amazing brands. So this is actually from Jez Choose. I will leave the link below so you can shop. They have some really good pieces on there and some really nice brands as well. So I just thought I'd give that a shout out. And then Jewelry Rise, I'm wearing all my silver pieces um, from my collection with North Skull, which of course will be linked in the description box if you want to shop them. Um, so without further ado, oh, trousers. These are from Naked Fashion. They're just like a faux leather straight leg thing. So without further ado, let us begin with the haul. I've actually thought um, I'd section them off. So I've got trousers, tops, and then coats at the end. Um, I actually have gone for quite a few trousers because I felt like that was what was lacking in my wardrobe. I've got loads of different tops and jumpers, so I feel like I needed to branch out a little bit with my trousers because I feel like I just gravitate towards the same ones. So I was kind of looking for some new shapes with this. So this is my first pair. It's like I saw this online and um, really like the way it looked on the model. They're like a kind of not straight leg, but not wide leg. They're kind of full length, but not floor length. So they don't drape on the floor, like an off whitey kind of trouser. And this I think is really nice, especially for going into the new season. I always feel like I talk about the new season a bit too early, but if you kind of got that in the brain, what can I buy for now, but also that will last. Um, and I think this, these are a really nice pair. They kind of have that almost, joggery feel about them but they're not so they're almost a smart trouser at the same time so they're a bit of a hybrid which i really like because i think i'm going to wear these with kind of chunky trainers and a hoodie that kind of look um so i really like these i got these in a small um and they fit pretty well i've already tried these on so yeah that's my first pair now from h m we all know i'm a big fan of the h m crease leg trousers they do the crease leg and the cigarette style trouser which I love. Um, so these I think are the crease like pair. Um, I've got the grey ones of these, you'll know I'm obsessed with the grey ones. So I thought why not get them in another colour and I thought this would be a really useful shade. I've actually been looking for some like this for ages and I've got some from Naked Fashion but they're not quite um, this beige, they're a bit more greeny camel. This is a more kind of true taupey beige and I just love everything about this. This is going to look so nice with white and those lighter colours, but also with darks and um, with khaki green. There's such an array of things you can wear this with. And I got these in a size eight. They are true to size and they've got the belt loops with them too, which is um, a factor that I really love about those trousers. Now next, I have tried these on. I do like them. Um, I'm just wondering if they're going to be a little bit too loose fitting. So these are from H&M. They're like a light gray jean. And to be honest, I tend to wear jeans more with heels and maybe heel boots or shoes that kind of expose my ankle so they're a bit more flattering. So I wouldn't really wear jeans and trainers that much. Um, so these are definitely for a heel and I have been looking for a gray style of like mom jeans for a while. So hopefully these will fit the bill. I'm going to try them on again and hopefully I'll like them. I tried them on with socks and slippers, which wasn't really the kind of vibe that I would wear them with. So I'll try them on with some heels and see what I think about them. And then these I thought were really cool. They're not too dissimilar to these creamy ones, but I thought these were just really nice joggery style, but just something a bit different. I still want to gravitate towards comfy clothes at the moment. Um, but we're still in lockdown here, but just want something different and something that's a change. And I think these really provide that. They're like a kind of creamy beige with a side, white side stripe and I'll be wearing these with trainers, with hoodies on the top and then maybe a smart coat over that but they're a really useful pair to have. I'd say these are a little bit long on me if anything so I'd perhaps maybe get them taken up or take try and take them up myself but yeah I think they're a really nice pair and five foot six for reference. So I actually got two pairs the same here so these are leggings and I saw a girl the other day walking around the city and she had 
like um, this kind of shade of leather leggings on and I thought actually I don't have any leather leggings like that. I've got trousers but not leggings and she just had them tucked into some chunky boots with a smart coat on and I just thought it looked really nice, a really easy um, way to change up your look because obviously I have a lot of black leather style trousers so I thought I'd go for something a bit different but then I also saw these beigey ones and I thought um, actually I quite like these too so I ordered them both I got them both in a small they were $19.99 so pretty affordable um, both from Zara and this is like cutery pewtery cream I'd say and then these are obviously more of a tan but I think both of them I'll definitely get wear out of and I can see myself pairing these throughout well from now through to spring as well so they are useful and I'm glad I got both colours because I think you can create quite a few different looks I'd probably wear them with something quite oversized and then a long oversized coat or a blazer or something like that but definitely a useful pair to have Two useful pairs to have. <laughs> and so we move on to tops now and I really like this high style of cardigan. I've got a few v-neck ones but I actually prefer I think the high style. Um, so this is from H&M. It did actually come with a matching skirt so I'm going to see if that is back in stock because it looked really nice. There was a picture of somebody wearing it um, like a, a blogger and she looked really nice with some chunky boots with it so I'll keep my eye out for that but I really like the cardigan just by itself really useful piece as I say and still gravitating towards those comfy pieces but I would say this is a really nice one for spring cardigans I think are a great option if you're looking again for that transitional dressing into the new season cardigans are the one to go for because you can layer them and um, now they make great pieces with jumpers as well or you can wear them with t-shirts and just around the shoulders in spring summertime so I think this would be really useful one just uh, plain grey nice buttons yeah definitely a handy one to have so this next piece is from Zara and I really like this I just think it's such a cute little knit it's got these little pockets here which I love um, and then the v-neck again which just looks so nice just something a bit different it's got big collar and again for spring this is nice because it's not got a huge polo neck style it's got this V and you could layer this up with a t-shirt underneath I just think it's a really cute little piece and I think it'll look nice with some of these trousers as well and um, just something a bit different that's still cozy still comfortable you can feel nice in it working from home and yeah just a really useful piece I got this in a small and it was $29.99 so my next piece is a denim shirt um, and I've wanted one of these for a while. I had a denim shirt but it was a bit light. I ended up selling it. It was a light colour, it had puff sleeves and I just didn't wear it that much so I thought I'd try something a little bit plainer and darker. Um, I kind of prefer this mid shade of blue. I think it's a really nice blue and a colour that quite suits me. I got this in an extra small because I think I think it's called oversized, um, but it looked oversized regardless. Um, so I got this in an extra small, which I think is plenty big enough. You could wear this as like an overshirt layering piece, um, and then you could put cardigan over the top of that, or you could just wear it by itself, or layer it with a jumper. But I just thought I'd try a denim shirt for a change. Um, I really like shirts, I wear them quite a lot, so um, to go for a denim one is just a nice alternative. Now, you girls always ask me for some good trench coat ideas and this is perfect. I actually went up a size in this, it's a size medium, but it's really nice, lightweight trench. This is the back of it, it's like a ruching detail, um, which is just so chic. It's got split down the back and yeah, it's a really nice shade of beige too. I often think things like this, trench coats I know sell out so quickly so I think if you see one you like then get it now even though you might not be wearing it for a month or so and um, get it now because they really do sell out I've noticed that about coats as well at the beginning of the season they sell out and tend not to come back in stock so if you like it get it I love this piece here it's casual but just yeah I just love everything about this I think it's a really really nice trench coat option. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen this coat. I actually posted it 
last night. Um, my Instagram, by the way, is at Lydia Jane Tomlinson. Lots of outfit ideas and lots of reels over on there too. Um, and yeah, I just posted this last night with an all green look. I actually wore the beige coloured leather leggings and then some boots that I'll show you in a minute with it. So what I liked about this is that it's quite muted in tone and I felt like it would go with a lot. But like I was saying before, I just wanted a wardrobe refresh and something a bit different. And this khaki shade fits the bill for me because like I say, it goes with everything in my wardrobe. It's quite muted, but also um, just a simple classic coat um, that's a bit different. And I think it would look really nice with this blouse as well because this has got this kind of khaki green running through it too. And then you can tell I'm on a bit of a theme at the moment because I got these boots um, also from Zara and they're like a chunky style, you know, the usual kind of vibe that we're in at the minute, like a welly um, meets a chunky boot, um, which I love and I've been looking for something lighter, wasn't sure whether I wanted to go for a cream or a off-white, but then I saw these and thought actually these might work with quite a lot. I think they'd work with browns, obviously with black it'll look great, um, with the khaki shades as well, with beige with grey oh actually with grey I think this would look really nice um but I thought they'd be quite a useful pair and then I kind of thought maybe going into spring this would look nice with like a midi dress and biker jacket that kind of look so especially with them not being black so they're not proper wintry boot um so I thought I'd give them a go they were 50 pounds so not completely bank breaking so I thought I'd give them a whirl and I actually really like them I got them true to size I sometimes I'm at six and a half I got these in a six and I'd say um, they were fine. I walked around in them yesterday, they were fine. Just a tiny bit tight. So if you are really unsure or if you are a proper half size, then I'd maybe go for the bigger size. But if not, just go for your usual size. Like I said, I went for the six in these and they're pretty much fine. Um, so that concludes my haul. I hope you like the items. Let me know your favorite items in the comments below and let me know if you're going to be purchasing any of these. Thanks so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. Press it whilst you're still here. Um, it would really mean so much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Let me know if you've got any ideas and suggestions.